Hi everybody and welcome back to Dragon Eye Creations. If you're new here, my name is Laurel and I love to create. I create all kinds of things. One of those things is gnomes and right now we are on our month of gnomes and today I am doing gnome number 12 for you. I am so proud of this guy. He turned out so great. This is our wizard gnome. He is full of all kinds of detail so it is a little bit more of a longer video. So we're going to just get right into it. And I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own wizard gnome. We're going to start by rolling out some brown polymer clay. And then once we get a nice snake going, we're going to just kind of squish it all out. And then we're going to take this wooden dowel and just kind of wrap our clay around it. All the way around to the bottom. And then we're going to start rolling it and squishing it, pushing it together. It does make it kind of lumpy and bumpy, but that's okay. That's what we want. We're going to just keep doing that until the whole dowel is covered with clay. And then I took some skinnier pieces here and I just rolled those out and then wrapped them all around. I put some going one way and then some going the other way. Until we have a few going and you can see I've got these resin gems here that we had made and I just took some bacon bond and put one right on the top and then wrap some more clay around that and now I've took another one I'm just gonna press it right into the front of the wand and then wrap more clay around that as well And then I took a tool out here and I just kind of started engraving some little lines and stuff, just making a wood grain look. And now I'm just quickly going to show you, I'm just making a polymer clay nose. I do have videos on the noses and hands that I'll leave in the description because I'm just going to go through this really fast with you. This is our hands as well and I'm just going to cut out my fingers and roll up, roll them up and form fingers there. And now we're just going to carve out some little fingernails and make some other details on our hand as well. And we'll make the other hand too. Same process. These are probably my least part, favorite part of gnomes to make, but I think the polymer clay hands just really give it something extra, so I do do it anyway. <laughs> And then I've put a hole in the bottom so we can attach it later. We're going to bake those at 130 for 30 minutes. And now we're starting on our boots where I just took a toilet paper tube and cut it in half. And now I'm just gluing that to some cardstock. And yes, glue hurts when it is hot. And then this is just some Easter eggs bottoms that I took. And these are a little bit bigger than the ones we usually use. I wanted to need a little bit bigger one for these booties. And now we're just going to trim around those. Again, I'm going through this pretty fast with you guys. I'll leave you a description on how to make booties. These ones are a little different, so I did kind of slow it down in parts for you. We're just trimming around these bath mats that I glued it to now. And now I'm just going to cover them with this black plush fabric that I got. This is actually a black plush throw that I got at Walmart. It was a good price, so I thought that's some good material for gnomes. And then just trim off the top and then tuck it all in. Some hot glue. Same thing for the other guy. And for these ones, I just finished them off by adding a little bead here. This is a little skull bead. Okay, so now I just took an aluminum foil tube here and I'm just cutting it in half as well. 
And now I took a Tropicana juice jug and that's what we're gonna make our gnome body with. And I just traced the bottom of that and we're just gonna glue a piece of cardstock right to the bottom of it. It's just not even at the bottom so we need to make it even. So for his body I just took some fabric and I just measured up by rolling it up. I'm just gonna first hem the bottom of it. What will be the bottom? This will be his dress I guess underneath his coat and we're just gonna glue put some glue on our Tropicana juice jug here and just roll it up into our fabric and I just put one strip of hot glue on each side and then rolled it up and then where they meet in the middle make sure you glue those together I did cut it a little short so it didn't quite meet up but it's close enough for what we're gonna see so we're going to now just roll up those aluminum foil tubes into that same black plush fabric. And this is going to be our legs. Just trim off the top and the bottom if there's any there. And now we're going to put some glue, lots of glue, all inside our booty and attach our leg making sure it is in there firmly, nice and straight. And then I took some sand and I just filled both of these tubes up about three quarters full. Tap it down a little bit and then I just glued these little caps I have from some containers right onto the top. Just snip off the little piece there. And then I did pull that fabric up over it so it's kind of just attached to that little lid piece as well. Adding a little extra glue to make sure. Same thing on the other leg. Add your little container piece. Glue around the outside of that and just pull that fabric up over top of it. Tacking it down. And now I just kind of made a grid pattern here to try to decide where to put my legs. And once I decided, I just put some hot glue where I want them. Then lined it up and pressed firmly. I did just tack down the top of his body outfit here. And now I'm going to start on his hat. For his hat, I just made sure it was big enough to go around where I want his hat to sit. And then I took the material and folded it in half, traced out a very tall triangle shape, and cut it out. And then took some hot glue right along the side and just folded it back together to make our hat shape. Same way we would for most of our gnomes hats. Other than this is a little taller and narrower at the top than normal. So you just got to be a little careful when gluing it. You don't want to get your it, your narrowness too narrow. <laughs> and then I just added this pipe cleaner. I just twisted two together so it was the right length. And then I just kind of tacked it down all along the back. You don't want to put too much glue there, just enough to hold your pipe cleaner in place. And then took some polyfill and started stuffing the hat, getting it right into the point. I then took a dinner plate and we traced around that onto this white fabric. This white fabric is a nice stiff fabric. It's actually the backing off of some insulated drapes. So I'm going to put that in the center and then I cut out two black circles the same size. These ones I cut a little bigger. I attached that white fabric to the back side of the one black circle. And now I'm going to take both the black circles and attach them good side to good side almost all the way around not quite we're going to leave a little hole so that we can turn it right side out again i did take this roll of masking tape it is the same uh, size around as i need for the middle circle of my hat so i just kind of traced around that cut a little slit and then took my scissors and cut pie shape basically four snips into my circle just so those pieces can be folded back. I then turned it right side out again. 
I like gluing up that little hole that we had left. Just kind of fold your edges in a little bit as you do this. It's a little tricky, but it makes it worth it. It looks so much better to do it that way. I did cut off some of the extra little pieces that were sticking up. I'll trim off the rest again later. I then decided I wanted to uh, make put some pipe cleaners on the inside. I should have done this before I folded it right side out, but it still works this way. So I just made a circle the same size around and then stuffed it all into the edges of the hat. I then took some polyfill and just kind of put it around the top of the juice jug there, just so we don't see any hard plastic edges sticking through our hat. I then just hemmed up the bottom of our hat a little bit, slid our black brim down, tucked in all those pieces, and then I took some glue and just put it along the bottom part of the black hat and then pulled the brim down over top and kind of just tucked it and pressed it into that glue as I pulled it back down again. And once it was cooled, I took it off again and trimmed off any extra pieces that were sticking up. I then, to decorate it, made this trim. I just cut some minky material here, some lo a long strip of it. And we're just going to fold our two edges in, gluing them together to make some nice trim for our hat and our coat for later. So I just made a really long piece, as you can see, because I know I'm going to need a lot of it. I then decided to add some gold ribbon. I thought he needed another color to his outfit. So I took this gold ribbon and just kind of put it all the way around the brim of his hat. Just along where that seam is there where the pieces are glued together. This is a wired ribbon so it kind of helps to form it as well. And then just snip it at the end. And then on the top of the hat here, not the top, but where the brim starts, I'm going to add this piece of trim all the way around. And we're just going to glue that together. And then on the middle of this trim piece, I added another piece of this gold ribbon. And for this one, I did pull it quite tight. I wanted it to be, so you can see that it's tighter than the blue, so it's kind of pushing that blue around it. Okay, so now we're going to start on his coat. For this, I just took a rectangle piece of black plush material, added some strips of the same minky material there, glued it good side to good side, and then folded it over and attached it on the inside. I will leave a link in the description of how to make coats as well. And then I added that same trim to the bottom of his coat, that long strip that we made. The pieces on the side I did have, they're a little bit wider than that trim. And then I just add it, or attach it directly to the back of him and I glued it and I'm just going to pleat it all the way around for this one. Sorry, I kind of got out of the camera angle, but I'm just gluing and pleating. Not quite to meet in the middle. We don't want his the coat to meet up because we want it to be open. So gluing and pleating all the way around. Again, we don't want them to quite meet up. We're then going to cut these foam tubes. I just cut the ends off, about a, an inch and a half off the ends. We're going to leave our wires in there, but we're going to straighten them out on both ends. We want those wires exposed. Because that's how we're going to attach our hands. With a little dab of glue to hold those wires in place. So we're going to take our foam rollers and just wrap them up into this black plush material. But we're not going to cover the whole thing. We, right now we just need to cover the one end of them. Probably not even this wide if you didn't want to. And then I just glued it and kind of tacked it down all the way around at the one end. For his sleeves, I took um, the scrap pieces that I cut off of his hat. So they're already kind of a triangle piece. But I just cut them a little bit. And what I want is we're going to have it so it's six inches wide on the one end and three inches wide on the other end. Well, three and a half, sorry, three and a half inches wide on the narrow end, six inches wide on the wider end, and then just fold it and glue it together, cutting off any extra piece that sticks out the bottom. Same thing for the other one. Just 
just kind of measure out so we can cut it and then glue it together trim it and then we're going to just turn them right side out again so we've kind of got this bell kind of shaped sleeve and we're going to slide our arms in there now with the black fabric at the bottom wide end and then just tuck it all in at the top there again covering up our foam roller and now i just took an exacto knife and i'm just going to poke a hole there with that where i want my arms to be right through everything and we're just going to poke them right in to our juice jug See where everything fits so we can get an idea here i did add some e6000 and some hot glue to attach his arms so a little e6000 right on the wire and hot glue right on the fabric for his hands again e6000 on the wire some hot glue right on the fabric there and then we just took his hand and we poke it right in the hole that we'd made and just press it firmly in there same thing for his other hand, pull his sleeve back down. I wrap some trim around the bottom of his sleeves as you can tell. And now I'm just making him a little belt. And I just took the rest of that trim that we had made, um, some of that gold ribbon and a piece of black ribbon. And I just twisted them all together and then just tied them around him. Kind of shaped that gold wire to look good. For his beard, it is five inches wide and it is about six and a half inches long. And now I just made a long triangle shape, cut two strips off those triangles for his mustache. And then we're just going to add that directly to him right at the top there with some hot glue, making sure we press it down firmly. And then we're going to add his mustache, just gluing it right at the very top. And then some hot glue and I did put some E6000 also on the back of his nose there and we're just going to press that end in firmly. And now for his scepter, wand, whatever you want to call it, I did just kind of dry brush it a bit just to make it look a little better. And then some E6000 and hot glue to hold it in place as well. Glued his hat all down. This is always my last thing. I don't know, this is like the thing that finishes it off there's no turning back from doing it now so this is how i finish my gnomes as we're gluing his hat on now we're going to take a lint brush to him because he is covered in fuzzies all over i did add some little feathers to the top of his hat and then i curled down the top of his hat as well and that is it well there he is our little gnome wizard is all done I am really happy with how he turned out. He is just so beautiful. Let me know in the comments what you think. I love to hear from you guys. And make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks so much for all the support, guys. I really appreciate all of you. Until next time, love to all.